what's going on you guys and just give me a second uh, okay so just right now I just got back from a road trip let me go to adjust my mic real quick I just got back from a road trip and it was fucking terrible because uh, first of all I only had my iPod so I can only listen to music and my phone so nothing much to do there I mean I mean I mean what, what do you expect on a road trip and I brought my laptop too, but you know, there's no fucking internet on the road. Now that I just realized, because I'm just kidding, I knew that. But um, I brought it because we were going to visit my grandma for some crazy ass reason. For no apparent reason, we just went and visited my grandma, and I was actually forced to, and you know, it turned out to be fun, sort of. But, you know, I, I didn't want to go because, you know, going to grandma's house isn't always the isn't the funnest thing in the world but up oh, right here sorry team man I'm sorry I, th I thought it was a team right there but it turned out to be oh damn that guy got fucked anyways um so I didn't expect it to be exactly as fun as it actually was I thought it was gonna be like boring as shit but you know it, it was actually better than I thought it wasn't like going to six flags or something and uh other than that, it was it was all right, I gotta say. But the but the road just oh my gosh, I hate the road. So uh, where where she lives is like five hours away from us, and you know five hours is a pretty long time to be on the road. And you know I've done worse, you know, 16 hours before on the road because uh, if you didn't know, I used to live in Las Vegas, and um, for some crazy ass reason we, we drive there and well most of the time you know I take a plane but for some reason we freaking drive there and it takes 16 hours from Texas to uh, what's it called to Las Vegas and being in the car for 16 hours trust me that shit is gonna kill you oh my gosh I I, I I'm freaking claustrophobic and you know, I can barely handle that shit now. And I've done it. We go to Las Vegas every summer, so... I have to deal with that every fucking summer. Stay 16 hours in one seat, in one car. And it is... Horrible. It makes me want to kill myself. Because I can't move my legs. And... You know... It's just not even fun. Not even fun. But when you get there, it's pretty fun. I mean, obviously, it's sort of worth it. Because, you know, casinos... And all that crap with the ride back. Oh my gosh. Oh. But you know, seeing all all the attractments or attractments um, is really cool. You know, like seeing the Hoover Dam and Colorado River, I think, and uh, the Grand Canyon. It's fucking awesome. But uh, I wish I could, like, go to Niagara Falls. I don't know why. I've never been there. I want to go and just mess around. And go swimming or go on a barrel off of Niagara Falls. I wonder how this like dumbasses actually do that. But I don't see how they survive. It's like a 200 feet fall. That's fucking huge. I don't know how people do that. But anyways, so I'm freaking tired as hell, and I have no idea what to talk about other than you know the freaking road trip. And during the road trip, uh, there was freaking, it was hot as hell too. I mean, it was blazing. Like, we turned on the air all the way, and it was blowing, it was like, and it, it still wasn't even cooling us at all. Not, not at all. And, you know, so it was horrible. And that makes me wonder what it's gonna be like in the summer. It's gonna be like, a hundred plus every day. And, I'm gonna be... I don't even know what's gonna happen in a couple of years for the summer because it's probably gonna go. I wonder if it's gonna go like 200 degrees eventually. I wonder if it's gonna do that eventually on Earth. That 200 degree weather is gonna occur in the summer. And god damn it, that's something to think about right there. I wonder if global warming is actually. I, I mean, it probably is true, but you know, some people are freaking nut jobs not believing or even making up crap and I hate all these conspiracy theories too I mean it's really annoying
and there's not really a point to it but you know I don't really listen to them unless um like some smart people like maybe on the news or maybe like a scientist actually proves it and it's actually correct other than that I probably won't believe it trust me I I, I don't give a shit you know if you're a random guy and you're really smart I mean I, I still wouldn't trust you but damn it's fucking hot I mean I got here like 10 minutes ago now now I'm recording and I'm still sweating and my mom's not actually here right now she's getting Starbucks with my friend Peter and oh, Starbucks is a good way to cool off you guys if you, if you haven't tried it at least oh if you haven't tried Starbucks you're freaking missing out and what uh, oh yeah by the way if you want to get something from Starbucks you should get um, whatchamacallit I think it's a frappuccino yeah it's a frappuccino and make sure you get the one that's um, I think it's double chocolate chip frappuccino oh that thing's amazing go ahead and get that one if you if you've never gone there I would like you to try that first it'll get you hooked and I mean hooked because my mom is fucking in insane She's so obsessed with Starbucks, it's so annoying. Not annoying, it's actually pretty cool because she buys me drinks too, so it, it it's a win-win. But like, she buys Starbucks every week, and I don't know. I mean, she probably drinks so much, she'll probably get diabetes. I mean, I'm not even kidding, dude. That's true. And, you know, ho hopefully that doesn't happen. Like, stupid ass Claymore. But, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen. It's probably not, but, you know... My friend Peter convinced her to try it only once a week because, um, like the first time she tried it, she got it every day, and now she's getting it once a week because of, uh, whatchamacallit, what, what Peter said, and so yeah, good thing, thank you Peter, if you ever watch this, probably not, but if you, if you ever do, somehow, uh, thank you, and, oh man, we still got like three fucking minutes, and, ugh. Oh. But, um, oh, I'm really pissed off too because I had this gameplay and it was like the first time I ever gone like really, ex really, actually I have gone good with the type, but you know, I, I got a really good gameplay with the type and freaking I got pissed off because it didn't show up and you know, I don't know if Infinity Ward, ah, oh, I get turned on, I don't know if Infinity Ward knows that, uh, whenever you don't, um, uh, let me let me let me try to explain this. Whenever you get a good game or just a random game before, and then you go offline for some reason, and you know you go to your friend's house or something, and you come back and you sign in, and if you're like a game commentator like me, you want to download or record that gameplay again. And me, every single freaking minute, my time, my file share is um is used up, and so I I don't save it because. You know, I don't want to delete the other ones that are really good. So, you know, I leave it there, and I'll record it some other time. And so I go on today, and I check if it's on there. I'm about to record, too, and I got everything set up. And somehow it's not there, and I don't know why, but that's the one gameplay I want, and that's fucking gone. So I don't know why. And I hope they fix that, because that's really fucking annoying, because... You know, I only want one one gameplay, and that shit is deleted. I don't know why that happens, but hopefully it freaking changes, because that was a really good gameplay. And I mean, imagine if it was a Moab, then uh, I I don't know what I'd do. I'd get really fucking pissed off. If that was a Moab, I would be so mad right now. But luckily, yes, it wasn't a Moab, sadly. But um, this is coming to an end, so make sure to comment rate and subscribe especially subscribe i got 144 under 44 subscribers right now i'm really happy that i came back and i got i gained subscribers and other than that you guys i'll see you guys in a couple of days and i'll see you guys later lies